this is just a uh, preview right quick of what we're going to be going over I'm still in the process of recording uh, the next tut that probably will not be out till the weekend or so but I just wanted to get you something out here just to show you what we're going to be looking at and I'm going to be looking at one of my favorite game series of all times and that is by Reflect Studios welcome to the game to the second one that's just be recently been released now my version the copy uh, I just have the original I I'm, uh, mostly play it offline so I have not uh, got the live updates yet I'm waiting on that but I will be getting those soon but for right now the cheat table that I have for it is for the very first one that still has the glitches in it that have not been fixed uh, them being the smaller top studios and everything they just don't have the budget to really hire professional game testers to uh, to do that so they just have to tackle them as they get to it and believe me I get that hint, hint reflect studios if you need some help give me a call but anyway now I totally recommend not to use cheats to play this game I mean, because it just totally takes all the fun out of it. It really does. But like I say, we're game hackers. We just do it to see if we can do it, right? <clears throat> but in my version, it has some glitches in it that you just aren't going to beat the game, period, because of these glitches. And it will not give you some of the keys or, or mislabel some of the keys. And in certain games, it will not provide you the wiki, deep wiki 2 link. So I had to look at other ways I could possibly do that. And what we're going to be talking about in the next tutorial is the mono again. Because as you see, once we attach this to the game, uh, it does use mono and everything. But we're going to be use another feature in mono with Cheat Engine called Instances and Dissect Data with the Instances helps you locate these hard to find values a little easier, a little quicker without just having to fumble through the entire code and go put the buggers on different things. And this is what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to activate it. This just launches Mono, which we already done. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and start up a new game. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Now Adam, the creator, the head honcho over at Reflect Studios that made this game and everything, I heard he was recently in the hospital, so do hope he's doing a lot better. I want to thank him for some marvelous games he's coming out with. They're currently working on a game now, I believe, called Ride with Strangers. That's really creepy. But uh, I have never come across a good type horror thriller type game that actually just elevates your level of fear a little bit and puts you right on the edge of your seat i love the way this game has done that it's really well done i really encourage you to go buy this game and like i say you'll find yourself playing it for hours on end and just totally lose track of time so what i want to do is i'm gonna go ahead and bring in up and this is what i'm talking about here you have to scour source codes and dig in pages to got, grab keys and everything like that but when you're game hackers like we are uh, we use our found knowledge to go find these things and when we're having some trouble uh, we use other means <laughs> but anyway here's some passwords uh, for a couple of the WPA2's already without having to go crack it and also let me uh, pause the game for a second and we have the deep wiki links deep wiki 2 deep wiki 3 now this only is going to work for probably the very first version which that's what mine is but I want to leave this in the description so you can download it you can see how I did it some things I had to use AOB's others I just used their direct injection via the mono address so but I'm going to show you how I found all these using mono instances uh, coming up this weekend hopefully and also here's another little tidbit for you and it finds all your master keys right here master key one two three four these are the whole object of the game these are what you're trying to find and uh, we also got currency where you can just go buy everything right off the bat of course like I say it completely takes the point out of the game to use these but hopefully you just use it for learning and that's it but just to, just to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to bring up a new notepad. And here's key one. We're just going to copy that down. And just on down the list, I'm going to pause it while I do that so you don't have to suffer through it. Okay, welcome back. 
and I copied in all keys. These are in order from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you put them in order just like that. And also, you know, these help you find the wikis if you're having trouble, especially in my version. The wiki 2 doesn't always put itself in the source code. It's a glitch that they had to fix in an upcoming update, or they probably already have already. I don't know. So uh, you can go ahead and have these. I would recommend go ahead saving these if you're going to use them. Go ahead and save them now because if you go to continue a game, bring it back up and continue game, it's probably not going to find these anymore. It usually only finds them when you bring up the entire game and start a brand new game that's the only time it usually finds these so keep that in mind so copy them down right away if you, you intend on using them okay so now we're going to paste that in there there we go hit enter sometimes it may not find it right off the bat But there you go, so you got it. You can add that to your favorites, and there it is. And if you want your Wiki 3 link without having to do that rule of three, here it is right here. Let's go ahead and disconnect from the net for please come charge in on me. I'm going to change this to the uh, ethical hacker. What was that password? Dave. D A V E. Didn't have to crack it. Boom, we got a WPA2. There's your wiki three. So now you got all three wikis. And they kind of help you out a little bit. And if you get stuck, have can't find keys. Well, here they are for you as well. But like I say, best to play this game without any of these on. I mean, it really just takes away the point of the game. I mean, it really does. But like I say, we're game hackers. That's what we do. So. But I want to thank Adam from Reflex Studios for a wonderful game to come out with. We're going to be learning how I found these where they always find it. I'm using multi-level pointers, but to be able to find these constants, which th that's what these are, constants, we had to use a little bit outside the box means to do so, and I'm going to show you how we do that. And hopefully it can help you in other games. So, And when you get real frustrated and everything, let me bring that uh, other one back up. Here it is. Move this out of the way. When you get frustrated and say, ah, oh, hell with it, here's your master key that we copied down earlier. Here's your Nora tunnel. Make sure you have 250 DOS coins. Plug that bitch in there. Boom. There you go. <laughs> Like I say, if you studios need some game testing experience, give me a call. I'm your guy. All right, guys, I'm out of here. You all take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. Cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, it doesn't mind cheating you. I'll see you this weekend on the tut. Take care now.